Hello guys, welcome back to the Angelo and Ethan Show. I'm your host, Angelo Jessica Maroon. That shows my face. Comment down below. And we're going to be ranking my seven Godzilla figures from worst to best. So, number seven, Mothra. So the issue with this Mothra is I like the paint job on the wings. But, but it's so sh Guess it's incredibly short. Guess who's allowed You gotta run. Kisses. Comment down. Kisses one. Comment down below if you hate Ethan interrupting videos. Yeah. So yeah, I don't. So you can only move these. He's also way too short. Head there. He slightly moves. Same thing with the wings. Seriously, I saw a YouTube video where the one dude once popped off one of the wings. It's really bad. Yeah. And the other thing, it's it's not Mothra. It's Rainbow Mothra. So, number six. Godzilla, 1968. So, the thing with this one is the model is great. It can't move his head, which is the face is kind of dull, but yet so is the face in the movie it appears in. The tail. The only thing that can move is the tail, the arms, and the legs, but not the head. And it's bizarre because this one can move his head, but this one can't. Yeah. Okay, so number five, King Caesar. So the thing with King Caesar is again a uh, paint job's very good, okay. His arms can move. Oh my god. Again his head can't move, his ears can and move. But this one's kinda stiff one for some reason, I don't know why. I mean the legs can't really move that well. And it always it literally like always falls over. It's the only reason why it's on this list because of this. Excuse me. No matter how hard you try, it will always fall. And the only other thing I can move is is the tail, very slightly. So I'm just gonna way there. Oh my gosh. So, so now it's number four. Godzilla 2000. So the thing with the Godzilla 2000 is his mouth is wide open, which is weird. I really like the door still plates. But here's an issue of all Godzilla's. It has no detailing, then detailing, and then back to no detailing. The other thing I like about this figure is it could I don't know hands. Yeah. Be funny. Yeah. Oh, and unlike the Godzilla I just mentioned, it can't move its tail. Can't move its tail. So number three, King Kidora. King Ghidorah is you know the only thing that I don't like about this figure. Two things. What well, is happens with all the figures, but the eyes are just they just look weird. And then there's the thing that the bizarre part is this one had the most patching tails on the wing, which didn't even have to be there, and the tail. Just, you, you can see how the tail thingy was. And I thought that was how it's supposed to be, but then I found out later. It's like this because see how the spikes connect. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing why I don't like to speak that much. That said, it's really good. Number. Number two. Godzilla 1954. Now this one's really, really nice. 
As I said before, this one can move its head well to 2001, and this one can't. Like, literally, none of them can move his head other than this one, and the one that's next, which you probably know what it is. So, it's got the good, flimsy dorsal plates, which is good because it's how it looked. It's the greenest tail movements. It's got a lot of movements, and it's really accurate. It's the fangs. Ears. It's weird because in the 1954 version, when King Kong was Godzilla, he's, this one toe was replaced and the toes started looking like this. But then later on, the toes looked like this. You know what this one is. Number one, Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, this Mecha Godzilla. Sorry for the glitch there. It's very. Very cool. Like the tail's perfect. I love. Says the MG for Mechagodzilla. All the rivets, the head, how it can turn 360. But yet this one can turn 360 too. So it can move. It can move so much. It can move the waist. I'm like holding the phone, so it's really difficult. But yeah, it can move its waist. Move its arms. You know, I think this might help. Yep, it, it can move the waist. It can also move the arms. Feet. Head. The detailing on this thing. The only reason why it's on this list is because it has the most movement and it's the most accurate to the 1974 Mechagodzilla. Oh so, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what do you think of them from your worst to best. Worst Rainbow Mothra, best Mechagodzilla. Uh, excuse me. And thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. I said bye bye.